Hi everyone, thanks for joining me on Rising Stories. It's Friday and I thought I would do a Friday Favorites. Sorry I skipped last month, but this is a new month of July and I'm excited to share um, my Friday Favorites. So, let's get started. So one of the things that I've been doing that I think everyone in America is doing right now because of the um, staying at home mostly and uh, restaurants not being open is cooking. So I have really enjoyed my two new small appliances. One being the Instant Pot. Um, and I think I have an off-brand, but I did give my daughter one for Christmas that I highly recommend. So I'm going to add, add that to our list. But the Instant Pot has been a lifesaver with so many things. I mean, so as some of you know, my husband is vegan, so he eats a lot of pastas and a lot of rice. My whole family loves rice. I am not a big rice fan, and I never really, I mean, I only cook, or I only know how to cook one certain kind of rice, which is Mexican rice, but it includes, um, like it's kind of, it's called arroz con pollo, which means chicken and rice. Um, and it has a lot of spices and stuff. And, um, I'll try to post a, a quick recipe. You know, it's one of those, like I grew up making this and so I don't really have like a set recipe. I really ought to make one. So hopefully you'll see that on my blog soon. But in the meantime, I want to tell you just how easy it is to do rice in this instant pot. I was just amazed. Um, and so you just follow directions from the package. Um, you know, I usually put in chicken stock or vegetable stock or some type of bouillon cube that um, kind of gives it a little bit of flavor or just, you know, maybe I'll do, um, uh, I've done like a curry Indian rice with some basmati. So that's been great. The other thing that I've done is last week I made a large pot of beans. I bought this one bag of beans that I highly recommend. It is called, um, and it's a Mexican company called La, La Preferia. Um, I think it's like translates to be like the preference, but um, any type of like other type of, of beans, like don't buy the store bought, the store brand beans try to get like a bag if you're going to buy a bag of beans they're all cheap anyway so i think this one was a dollar 49 versus 99 cents from a kroger brand like a store brand so i spent a little bit more and got the la preferia you can also buy goya g-o-y-a those beans are great i don't know what it is about it but it seems that every time i buy a nicer bag of beans they turn out the best less of them floating to the top, which means they're not good um, when you soak them in water. So um, <clears throat> soaked them overnight, put them in the instant pot, and I do add some bacon slices. So maybe that was the key too. Um, anyhow, it was delicious. I loved it and I served it to my family with uh, a large, um, pan of cornbread and in my bowl I liked to add um, like slices of onion so the sweet Vidalia onion is what I like to buy and I had slices of fresh jalapeno so that's how I like to eat my pot of beans but my next favorite thing that I like can be eaten with this pot of beans as well it's called the organic it's Trader Joe's Organic Elote Corn Chips Dippers. And I believe that Aldi also has a brand name or a, an off brand or their brand. And it's delicious. It kind of has like a little bit of the cheese and and chill, like a cayenne pepper, chili pepper type spices that m Mexican uh, places, restaurants put on their corn to make it like a Mexican corn. Anyway, it is delicious, and I highly recommend getting a bag of those. They were gone like in an instant from our um, instant. I've been talking about Instant Pot. Isn't that crazy? Um, they were gone in a New York minute. I mean, it was crazy. They loved it, loved it. Um, everyone enjoyed the corn chip dippers, which I'll probably get more of. 
Um, the next thing that my other appliance that I'm loving is the air fryer. I cannot stress enough how every household needs to have an air fryer. If you're a household of like just two people, I highly recommend you do the air fryer. Um, <clears throat> it's one of those things where you can warm up leftovers. It's great for leftover pizza. It's great for leftover fries. If you bring home like leftovers from eating out or, or like a takeout, um, it just crisp things up. You don't have to use that much, um, oil. In fact, I just kind of spritz mine sometimes with a, like I have an olive oil spritzer and I'll, I'll link that too, if I can find it. And, um, anyway, so I love, love my air fryer. I make sweet potato fries in it. I make any, just all kinds of stuff. My daughter and I have been on this kick where we make flautas and put them in the air fryer and they are delicious. And flautas are basically just a corn tortilla. You can use flour, but I highly recommend corn. A corn tortilla with some shredded chicken uh, or chicken pieces and not, not the bone in, but just shredded chicken. I mix my mixture with chicken, green salsa, green tomatillo salsa. You could just put some green chilies. Um, or you could use salt, a can of salsa if you want, but I use the green chili salsa and a little bit of cream cheese just to kind of bind it together. Stick it on the tortilla, roll it up. Make sure your tortilla is soft. I usually just kind of dip mine in oil really quickly to just kind of make it soft. Roll that puppy up like in a little, like a little cigar. I don't even put a Q-tip. I just put the seam side down and the air fryer and air fry it for like 10 minutes and just keep checking on it. It is delicious. We have made, I mean, I'll just sit down and make tons of those and it, they are awesome. So I'm enjoying that. Um, the other thing that I'm doing is I'm gardening more. For the first time, I am growing zucchini. I realized that I had not been... Um, I don't know if it's called pollinating. It's called something where if you, that you need like a male and a female plant. And a lot of times I never had that. And so they said, if you have a, like don't have a two, if, if they're not bees pollinating your plants, you can take like one flower from one side and put it to the other plant in that flower. So I did that this time. And it made a difference. I am now growing zucchini. It was amazing. Uh, I don't know why, but my garden has really taken off. Like I'm actually growing tomatoes. Last year and the years before, I've never grown but like maybe one tomato. I think I have like six of them in a one plant thing. So, and I'm still, they're still growing. So other plants are still growing. I'm getting lots of, of um, little cherry tomatoes. I'm doing cabbage, I've done broccoli, um, kohlrabi, I've also done some um, uh, rhubarb, and Swiss chard. So, like, all of this stuff, I just can't believe how much it's growing. I don't know if it's the weather, I don't know if it's I'm tending to it more this year and actually taking care of it, because I have the time and I'm at home. Um, or if it's my compost. I mean, I think it's all of the above. So it's been great. The last two things, or I'll have, I have three more things. I'm just so full of like all of these wonderful things that I've been using. I want to talk about outdoor water sports. I love any and every outdoor water sport. So when a friend mentioned that she also likes to do stuff outdoors, I, you know, I'm, on the water, I just said, hey, I've got blow up kayaks. And she was like, what? Are they safe? I'm like, well, where we're going, it's not like deep, deep waters. I think it's like waist deep or maybe five feet um, in this one river section of a river in our town. So we've been kayaking and I love it. I have enjoyed my blow up kayaks. They take minutes to blow up with this Coleman blow up thing and they sell them on Amazon for super cheap. They are selling the double right now. I think the only thing in stock and I'll post both of them 
is the um, two-person kayak, which is fine. I, I prefer just my own kayak, so... But if that's all you can get, I mean, it's, it's great for kids and like maybe a kid and an adult, I would highly recommend the double. So that way you can actually help them along. But, um, I am loving my kayaks. So fun to just blow it up and then I just throw it in the back of my car. I even got a car charger blow up, um, air, not, it's like a, not an air compressor, but an air I can't remember what that's called, but yeah, so where you can fill it up with air, air pressure, air filler upper. <laughs> so I'll link that because that has been a lifesaver. I can take my kayaks anywhere, blow them up anywhere from my car and I'm good to go. So what we do is we have two cars. We launch in one, have the kayaks there blown up and we launch there. And then we, but before that, we park my car or the second car at the place where we're getting out down the river. So make sure you're going up downstream and with the flow. And, uh, and then, so when we get out, we'll have a car there as well. So it's been great. I always tend to fall in the water, <laughs> usually just because I'm clumsy getting out of in and out of my kayak but it's one of those like challenges can I make it through a whole um I'm good getting in but it's like when I have to get out or if there's a bad current or something I'm just always the one that flips so it's kind of fun it's a challenge uh the last two things are fun fun popcorn the microwave popcorn bowl that you just put a little popcorn in there no oil and you put it in your microwave for like, I don't know, less than 10 minutes. Maybe like the same amount that you do a popcorn bag. But you don't have to use the bags and you don't have to have all those carcinogenics and all that stuff that is bad for you. It's just popcorn, white popcorn. And I just put it in this microwave bowl and I have air popcorn. It's great. And I love... um to shake on some uh, seasoned salt and some white cheddar popcorn seasonings. Oh, it's just a great snack for the evening, watching a TV movie, a movie on TV. Um, I've been enjoying it. I've also been enjoying my porch, and I highly recommend if you have a porch, any type of screen porch or outdoor patio or anything, put a TV out there and watch shows. Get your Roku and you can connect that to your, um, you can connect it to like your Wi-Fi and get like your Netflix out there. You can even bring out your cable like I have Xfin Xfinity and I can connect it through the app of Roku. So I'm going to link that below as well. I highly, highly recommend the Roku. It has been a game changer it's almost like we have another room. It's been nice to be out there. I'm so excited to just add more stuff to my outdoor um, patio and, and screened in porch, but it has just been very enjoyable. Even the kids have enjoyed it. We've enjoyed as a family eating out there, kind of gathering when people come over, if they, you know, want to do social distancing, which I recommend. Um, it's nice to be out on the patio and outside. So highly recommend getting a Roku for, and getting like a cheap TV, you know, go on Facebook marketplace, kind of just do what you can, which is so much fun to just set up an area where you can watch TV outside. Some people, some of my friends in Texas set up their outdoor area in their garage, which is kind of fun. So just, make something out of nothing. It's always fun. This is a good time to do it. Uh, the last thing that I've been doing is uh, using Mike's Hot Honey. It's honey with a spice and I love honey sometimes on my chicken. Um, I like it on like a biscuit or a roll. I just like hot honey and it's just been delicious to try it. So I highly recommend this hot honey. Thanks so much for coming on, uh, coming and listening. 
and I would urge you to please, please, if you hear something that you're interested in purchasing, that you will use the links provided in the show notes. If you don't see any links, please message me. Um, I'm at Corrine Sandifer on Facebook and Twitter and um, Instagram. So look me up, follow me. I would also love for you to follow us here on YouTube channel. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button below and um, keep joining us for great guests and for um, Friday favorites. So I'm super excited for you to uh, enjoy some of these fun, fun things that I've mentioned today. Don't forget to click on that. And thanks Amazon for sponsoring us. And thanks so much for joining us today. Make sure that you keep rising in your story.